been over 20 years since there have been tiger cubs here at the park. And with the wild population in decline, creating a new breeding group would be a real boost for conservation. But for breeding to be successful, you need to find two tigers who want to mate with each other in the first place. And the keepers are hoping that the new male and the new female that are coming here and meeting here for the very first time are going to look at each other and go, Grr, you're my perfect match. We are on our way in. Uh, the tigers have arrived. Vic is here. I did get a few hours sleep, but I did wake about half four, so <laughs> I just can't wait to open up the side of that vehicle and, and see their faces for the first time. People wouldn't know there's two tigers. There's massive, like, killing beasts in that vehicle. Yeah, we're going to try and get the vehicle right up to the top. Okay, let's do it. As the van is opened, the team are on tenterhooks to get their first look at Amor the male and Yana the female. The driver's literally just pulled the canvas up, um, so the, both crates are in the back there, and you can see just about see both their faces, and they are absolutely beautiful. Tigers are Earth's largest wild cat, weighing up to 300 kilos. First to be unloaded is the male. One, two, three. Um, I'm pleased with how this is going so far, and the two cats are amazingly calm, which is good, so um, hopefully they'll uh, settle in nicely. The crate is secured in place. Release the beast. You okay, Caleb? Yeah, we're good. Okay. Hey, big boy. But Amor seems a little too comfortable in his temporary home. Come on. Come on, mister. In you go. Amor's hesitancy is in stark contrast to the arrival of Sundari and Shauri 12 years ago. Is he looking to move at all? Not really. We've tried enticing him out with some food, um, but that hasn't worked so far. Nothing. Nothing's getting him out of this crate at the minute. John reassesses. So what we're actually going to do, we're going to close the crate again, move him to one side, hopefully try and get the female in there first, and then with any luck he might want to go in there to join her. I'm hoping she'll come out of the box a bit easier than, than he is. And Yana's much more cooperative. The plan seems to work. Shortly after, Amor follows suit. Having never met, Amor and Yana have their first face-to-face. -face. Immediately they chuff. Tiger talk for hello. Their initial sort of greeting, um, chuffing at each other, fantastic. So far everything has been really, really good. After more than a thousand miles on the road, the young couple are left in peace to settle into their new home.